Alright, got another treasure from VOA. It's a KitchenAid food processor. 25 bucks. And I think it was well worth it. This is probably comparable to what Vitamix might make if they had one. And I like this feature here. It's got the mini bowl. You can use the the big bowl with the big blade. Like that. And you put the lid on it and you could go to town. Look at that puppy go. Woohoo! And pulse. Powerful. Makes the lights dim, right, Grandma? You take the lid off. Take that out. Then it's got the mini bowl. Oh, and by the way, it's got this little thingy here you put on it. And then you can put the uh, gizmo here for making like coleslaw and all that. You know, the gizmos there. The catches. So that's for that. And then the uh, nice thing is if that breaks, I can replace it. And then the, the mini bowl. I think that's pretty cool. I like that. Mini bowl sits in there, and then you can put the smaller blade in it. There. Put the lid on. There. All that power. So I got that for Mama for Christmas. Got her a professional style food processor. It's really pretty neat. I think it's pretty awesome. Yeah. She has a an old, real old Mullinex, which no, that's not a Mullinex. I think that's a Queef and Fart. Yeah, right there. She got that clunker. Yeah, it's good enough. She uses that for making pie dough. Then there's my KitchenAid blender and my old KitchenAid mixer here. So we're going to put this over next to the Vitamix. Kind of matches the Vitamix. I like the chrome. Pretty neat. So there you go, Mama. There's your Christmas present from VOA. I don't know what these retail new, but I'm guessing close to $200. Maybe more. But it's the closest thing I can find that's a professional grade food processor. It's it's uh, rather heavy. I know one thing, if I bought this on eBay, the shipping alone would be $25, because this thing's heavy. <laughs> Am I chef tell or? No, you're chef doink. <laughs> oh, open. stop. Today we are making an invention of mine, because I'm making up as I go. I never made it before. It's going to be an Italian omelet. So we're going to start out with Italian sausage. And we're going to take some Italian sausage and put it in Mama's induction cooker. I'm only going to use two of them. I think that would be funny. Or should I use three? Turn this on. This must be the on button, right? Is it on now? Fry it up. And we'll let that fry. Start frying. Why don't you stick your ass on and see if it gets it's hot? It's supposed to get instantly hot. Okay, while that's going, you can put this put this over on the stove or something. That goes back on this. Now we're gonna put some ingredients together. Oh, I, and while you're over there, get the little mini cheese grater. It should be underneath. Or any cheese grater. This is not professional, folks, as you can see. Alright. I'll use this one. It makes bigger slices. Oh, We're putting this one away. I can see I have to do editing. Alright, now. We got Baba's new food processor here, which is a kitchen aid. Got it for her for Christmas. Nice heavy duty food processor, professional grade of course. Oh brother. And the first thing I'm gonna do is take the garlic. Garlic. Got to put a little garlic in there. It's Italian, gotta have a little garlic, eh? Okay, are we high. I'm not Italian by the way, I'm not uh, Hungarian. I am Polish and German. So this is gonna be my Polish Italian omelet. Of this garlic here. Do you, wear a white, do you wear white socks? No. no. Socks He's not Polish. 
I'm in the house, I'm barefoot. I'm a hillbilly. I'm a hillbilly pole rock. And getting this garlic apart is a challenge. Usually when you on. do a video, you should have everything all pre-done. No, I'm showing how difficult it is to make. This is an advanced video. This ain't the, for the beginner. Advanced. There. Okay. There's a what piece a of joke. garlic. Now, since it's Italian, I'm going to have two pieces of garlic. Are you, I trying, get to, them off are you there. trying to scare vampires away? Yeah. Get out of the way. Take your garlic and you go. And make sure your fingers aren't in the way of the knife. Yep. Get the skin off. Skin, skin, skin off. Do you think he needs a garlic press? Nope. Don't need a garlic press. Just get the skin off. And then it will take this one to take the skin off. It makes your fingers smell good. And then you take your garlic and put it in the food processor. And we could probably give that a quick spin. Hope you put the top on it. Just the lights, Jimmy. Two, a seven, a five, and a three. Okay, the garlic is minced. I gotta turn this down a little. You're gonna burn it. Yeah. What do you have underneath it that makes it off balance? Uh, marble thing. I don't know, stone thing. It's a pizza thing. I don't know. I'll throw it away. Okay, now we'll take the pepper. Why do you cut it that way? You don't cut it. You gotta it. cut your pepper. You don't cut it that way. I do. Why you leave it, get the seeds go all over the place. Oh, what? Do I want a lot of pepper or a little pepper? I'll put a lot of pepper. Take this out. I, I forgot to wash the pepper. I better go over the sink and wash the pepper. Then we'll see how messy your kitchen is. Did you wash these peppers off? Yeah, but you gotta wash the inside. Let me go wash the pepper. Pause. And you going? Yes. Oh. It's going. Alright. I'm just gonna cut the pepper into pieces. You notice how he gets his fingers close to the knife? He wants a little extra meat. That's good enough. Throw the peppers in the, the chopper. And then onion. Onion. Cut the ends off. Cut the ends off the onions. Okay, get the <coughs> onion paper off. It'll be good. Uh, I probably won't need all this onion, probably half of it. If you would have cut the other end off too, it would have been much easier to peel. Whatever. I'm just going to cut it in half. I'm use a smaller half, put that over there. Get the paper off of it. That's not paper, it's skin. Did you ever hear of onion paper? If he would have put a little slit in it, that would have been a little easier for him to take that off. Yes, professionals. Do we have not enough cheese, but enough Indians or whatever, or, or too many chefs spoil the broth or something like that? I don't know. But they know you're a professional. Put these things here. And it up a little bit. Let the food process do the work, right? Then, see we got peppers, onions, garlic. I'm going to put a little mushrooms in there, but I'm going to put the mushrooms in after I chop this up. And the mushrooms turn into soup. Now I'm using, this has a mini bowl on top of this particular one. I'm using the smaller bowl and the smaller blade. And we'll pulse it. This is sticky, you need to move that. Yeah, you gonna stick it to a non-stick pin. Uh, you call that non-stick? Look at that. Yes. It's sticking. It's supposed to be a nasty. You didn't, okay. Okay. You need you didn't, a little more. You didn't prepare the pan either. I need a little more chopping on that pepper. <sighs> you chop it up fine. Then I'm going to put some mushroom in it. Let it cook. See, folks. See, folks. This is sticking. Now we'll put some mushrooms in. You know why it's sticking? Because he didn't prepare the pan. Oh, you put some olive oil in it. Big deal. Put this is supposed to be a non-stick pan. Sausage is greasy. I'm not worried about it. Okay, we're going to need all the mushrooms. So we're going to have to mix up with the mushrooms. Yet. You want to push the button? No, I'd like to see that sausage move. 
mana untuk kaninya? Okay, the life and, the life and times of Don in the kitchen. Now we got our vegetables done. You gotta move that side. Now we gotta get the. Uh, mm. And let's take the sticky sausage. What kind of crappy pan is this? This is supposed to be one of those non stick green pans or whatever. And you know what he doesn't know is you always have to prepare a pan when you're cooking. Where's the one that's supposed to be a green pan or that nothing sticks to it? That's the one I want. I don't have that one. That's the one. I got. Where is it? I don't have one. You're supposed to have a non-stick omelet pan. That's it. That, that sticks. Because you mean the TV commercial? What you see on the TV infomercial <sighs> sticks, and it's supposed to be non-stick. Dum dum, you're supposed to put butter in there. No, a non stick pan, you don't have to put anything in oh, It's bullshit. supposed to be not. I should be able to put an egg in there without any butter, and it should be non stick. And, you, and another and thing you're doing wrong. A TV commercial oh, bullshit. Shut the fuck it up. It's not stick. It's not worth the crap. Now, how am I going to cook an omelet in this pan? Hey, dummy, you're not supposed to use that piece of equipment that you've got with the metal in with that silver stone or whatever the hell it's called pan. Duh, hello. This is supposed to be a non-stick omelet pan oh that comes God. with this thing and it's supposed to be non-stick. That did not come with that pan. Well, I want the one that does. Where is it? It's out in the camper. Don't! Stop the thing and go out and get it. Nope, I'm not. Okay, you've got to cut the meat into chunks anyway, so it'll cook faster if I just cut it up. Okay, anybody that likes to cook, do you see anything wrong with this picture? What? What? That what? Was eating a chunk. Yeah, that's a good thing. That's a good thing, folks. But what is he doing wrong? Mm -hmm. In the pan. What is he doing wrong? Cutting in the pan and anywhere the crap. You. This is supposed on the TV commercial. It shows you can cut on it and it don't scratch it. It's got a super durable finish. Is that what you're talking about? No. I believe everything I see in TV commercials. Is that what you mean? What you do, folks, is you take it out of the pan or you pre-cut it. Yeah, normally, it. but this is easier. You, you pre-cut it. Or like Mama does, squeeze it out of the casing in the lumps, which is the easiest way to do it. Or before you cook. But you know what? I don't give a crap about this pan because it, it sticks. And it's supposed to be not stick. And I think it's sticky. Folks, he didn't prepare the pan, okay? He should yeah, prepare it's not the... stick, you don't have to prepare it. It's supposed to be non stick. You're supposed to be able to burn cheese on it and it don't stick. Mm -hmm. I see the commercials. Yeah, you don't watch commercials. Yeah, yeah, I don't watch TV. I saw the infomercial. Good I for know. you. Anyways. Anyway, you cut it into chunks. You can cook it a little bit in the microwave and then and then have it where yeah, you can cut it or take it out of the casing or my way of doing an omelet instead of this piece of shit you know what I ought to do is go get the uh, uh, wok because I like the wok oh my god he's making more mess and guess who has to clean it folks the dishwasher no me now I gotta go over here this utilities because I don't want to scratch the pan we don't want to he's... scratch this non-scratchable pan See, he's thinking this up as he goes along, folks. <laughs> I'm showing you how to cook. I'm a professional. Yeah, you know what, folks? He'd never make it in New York, I'm telling you. I am a professional. Next time you eat in a restaurant, just remember, it could be me that's doing the cooking. Oh, brother. Doesn't that make you want to go out to eat? Not if you're the chef. Now, after this gets cooked up, which will take a little while because it's sausage. Then we'll put gobs of butter in the pan to make Mama happy because this non-stick pan sticks. This is supposed to be an omelet pan. It's a piece of crap omelet pan. He doesn't know how to cook in it. That's the problem, folks. No, it's supposed to be non-stick. I'm just proving that the TV commercials are bullshit. He said a bad word. Now, Cover your ears now. This is professional Vitamix. 
Oh. You're going to get a Vitamix. We've got to have our little commercial in here while we're waiting for it to cook. <gasps> we're having a commercial within a commercial. This is the 4000. That's the Vitamix to get. Don't get the new ones. They're crap. This one has the reversible motor with pulse. And it's got the stainless steel pitcher. Which I might add, don't make anymore. No, and you can't get the parts. And a lot of times what goes bad in these is the little blade. And it, the blades uh, go bad. You can take the blades apart and lubricate them and fix them, but they don't last forever. So what goes bad on these is the bearing in the blades. But other than that, they're indestructible. This is the best Vitamix they ever made, and stupid Vitamix stopped making them. Then I got my lifetime percolator and drip pot. Professional quality, of course. Then I have a, a KitchenAid food processor. Commercial. Commercial toaster. Don't forget the commercial toaster. Uh, combination microwave, Samsung convection microwave. And professional bun formatic coffee maker and a bun cafe not a keurig this is professional keurig is crap don't get keurig it's get a bun cafe shit. the bun cafe bun formatic uh warring. this is not a toast made it's a warring we you know that warring invented the, the blender in the 1940s he was a, a big band conductor oh and what's this what that is, Mama? Induction cooker. That's your... Ow. Uh, New wave. New wave. Oh, you took the one over there by the snack bar? That yeah. box is empty? No, I took it over there and put it here. Oh. This was yours. So now we're going to take this meat out of here in a minute. Yeah, it's not going to be cooking because you got an E1 on there. Yes, there you go. Okay. I turned the temperature down. Oh, my God. But I had it too high. Yeah. And so I'm just going to have chunks of sausage in it. And you got to try to get it cooked on all sides. Make it all nice and cooked. Because we don't want to get raw sausage. Mr. Beagley would have liked raw sausage probably. Oh, and we got her measuring cups. Professional. Professional. Now this is my professional bar over here. Over there, that's the amateur for her. I have the professional. This is my cooking area. Professional. Hers is amateur. Professional dork. <clears throat> now look at that beautiful stuff. Oh, I need a bowl to put this up. Since we're teasing about professional, that's my professional urn over there. Professional urn. This is a mess. Don't look too much there. Oh, show your little miracle round set. It's not too much. That's your set. Oh, the other one. In? No, the other one's over there. And you got a little mirror go around here behind this crappy professional mess. That the kid, that the kids, that my uh, older teenager broke. Oh, well. Okay, I gotta go over here and get a bowl. <laughs> got to get a bowl in your messy kitchen. Well, yeah. you're I you're cooking. See, when he's cooking in the kitchen, this is what it looks like. You should see the other side of the kitchen. When he's, when he's cooking, it looks like that. And that. I'm better than you are because I use a minimum of utensils. When you cook, you got to get everything done. I can do everything with a fork and, and one pan. Oh, God. Can you go shovel the snow with a fork? Mm -hmm. It might take you a while. Yeah, now I got all of that out. Are you sure this Now, cooked? question. Should I use this pan or that pan? That's a T-fall pan. That's a POS. I'm going to take a chunk of butter. Well... Is that a big enough chunk there? I'm going to try this pan because it's already got lots of grease in it. Mm. And let's see if the egg will stick. I got the temperature down now. Turn it down for eggs. Use low heat for eggs. What is he skimping on that butter? Let's 
nice enough. This pan is in the way. Who put this pan? Got him, got him, got him. Now, God. when you drop your utensil on the floor, you put it in the sink and wash it. You use it anyways. Oh I did the three God. second rule. Oh my God. You, sh you shake off the dog fur and the <coughs> fur is good. Good to go. Now, what we're going to do. Let's pray you don't get food poisoning. We're going to take a couple of eggs and make an omelet. You sure you cooked that sausage enough? It, it'll do. Oh, now, this is my Italian omelet, so I got. Uh, <sighs> God oh, help Oh, come on. Well, every time you take it off, it's going to do what you want. It's supposed to go back on. It's on! Yes, ma'am. What a dumb. I'm going to take two eggs. And smash them together, right? One. Two. Two eggs. There. Now I'm going to get this and stir them up a little bit. I should have took a fork over here, but that's all right. I'm try this. I'm going to stir them up a little bit. Make it kind of a sort of a scrambled egg, but not a scrambled egg. Now watch it stick to the damn pan. Take some of this stuff and put it in there. Whatever's left over over there, you use it for tacos. Yes. Ooh, that sounds good. Or you use it for, hmm, pizza. Okay, now we got our Italian ingredients. I'm going to put a lot in it because I like lots of stuff in my oven. Right? Oh, I forgot to wash my hands after I picked the thing up off the floor. Oh well. See how unprofessional he is, I put folks. Pieces, some sausage in here. This one will be Noah's. Personally, myself, I wear gloves when I cook. When it's something yeah. like this. I'm not recording that. Mm. That's disgusting. Now I take a little bit of the sauce. Does Noah use some of it? Eh, a little green stuff in there never hurt anybody. Oh my god. That's your penicillin. This is going to be in lieu of tomatoes. Now, I didn't put spaghetti in it yet. Oh my god. And then I take some of this moldy cheese. Mozzarella cheese. Do I have to admit I know this person, folks? Take some of this. Now, you can use this side for smaller and this side for bigger. I'm using the bigger. Take that down in there. Put some mozzarella cheese. I don't know where he learned how to talk, folks, but it's mozzarella. Mootsy belly. Is that enough cheese? Okay. Little cheese in there. Mm -hmm. Last thing I gotta get, I forgot the salt and pepper. Is there salt and pepper over here? Yes. These are little teeny weeny salt and peppers. You got it coming out. Hardly. Give me a salt shaker that works. Oh my god. Team salt. Your finger is in front of the lens. Can't That's you see it? That's good. You're not a professional photographer. To do it yourself. Stuff. Some people, yellow red pepper is much better. Especially the Italian. Use their crushed red pepper, but she don't know that it's better. Oh now, is this done cooking yet? Mm. <sighs> not quite. It's oh, I gotta a, get a plate anyways. It's gonna be a long day, folks. Yeah, I had the temperature way down, so it slow cooks the egg. I could probably give it a little bit more. Let's go at 80. Yeah, will go 90. Let's try that. 90. I would suggest you get rid of that stupid pizza thing underneath. Toss it. Whatever, it's just there. I put it there to protect the wood in case it gets hot underneath. Mm -hmm. While it's cooking, I gotta go get a dish. Use your highest quality. Restaurant dishes as a professional. So am I supposed to get the false... Mel melamine. Am I supposed to get the false no, crap out? That. Good. That's the good stuff. Okay. okay. This omelet's almost done. When this one's done, I'm not going to make any more on camera. Yay! This would be it. Now, what you normally do is if the egg's cooked, you fold it in half and dump it in the plate. But my luck, it probably will stick and won't fold in half. And everybody... Get ready to laugh. Get ready to laugh. And then you start cussing. <laughs> then you start cussing. Hey folks, should I leave the cussing in? Probably should use a different thing than this. Okay, just trying to make sure it's not stiff. 
This ain't really big enough. You know that's what he's doing wrong, folks? No. Fuck it. What he should do is probably use Sticking as loud as he can. A smaller... There's my stuck to the pan omelet. Doesn't it look delicious, folks? It's still cooked. Give it a crap. You know, it doesn't always come out perfectly like when you need to. But it'll do. It's edible. Eat it. Shut up and eat it. Alright, we're done. The way it looks there is the way it comes out. Yes, that's my... That's my Italian mess. <laughs> Folks, first of all, I don't think I would have used that pan. Yes, it's non-stick com commercial pan that's on TV. Your what greeny you or ready or whatever. It's you called, uh, what is it, not Silverstone, what's it called? It's folks? called crap. Golden something or I don't know what it's, it's called. called crap. But you know yeah, what you, it's done. you know what you do with that pan, folks? Throw it in the garden. You wait till you get a burglar that comes in your house and you hit him upside the head with it. All right, we're done. An angel you are not. And he a peck of pickled peppers. Pick a pick a pick a pick a pick a Peter Piper pick a 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 p